Cities across America are rethinking their decision to pull officers from schools after a series of deadly campus shootings. President Joe Biden says he's not opposed to certain measures. Nancy Liu is live in Los Angeles with details on the renewed calls to step up classroom defenses. Nancy. Well, Kelly, while Republicans and Democrats remain far apart on gun legislation, there is common ground when it comes to beefing up school security. That means many public schools could soon see more metal detectors, updated surveillance systems, and even armed guards. The momentum comes amid a rise in deadly school shooting incidents, including the tragedy in Uvalde last year, which claimed the lives of 19 children and two teachers. According to a federal school crime and safety report from 2021, there were 93 school shootings with casualties that academic year, and 43 Three of those incidents were deadly. That is the highest number of shootings in over two decades. Republican presidential hopefuls Donald Trump and Mike Pence have been calling on states to invest more in school security. And according to Politico, President Biden won't stand in the way. While the president has said schools should not feel like prisons, the Biden administration has been reminding state officials to tap into the billion dollars in federal funds approved last year after Uvalde. The money can be used for police, metal detectors, or active shooter drills. The use of metal detectors remains rare in all schools. It's estimated just 10% do such screenings on a regular basis. Now, Louisiana got the first slice from that billion dollar federal ply, uh, pie and plans to use $21 million to bolster school entryways there, install surveillance systems, and beef up school perimeters. Kelly? Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.